That's right. I've only well, brought you down for a minute anyway, just to explain. Well, as you know, main engine lubricant is one of the highest running costs on board. A lot of regulation, a lot of changing conditions. And all we could do in the old days was to have the different cylinder oils we needed on board in separate tanks. And once in a while, add a bit of fresh system oil to the engine sump to compensate for the system oil that was consumed during operation, you know? Now, you can see the old lubrication system here on this diagram. With time, system oil got thicker and its additives got inactive. And the result? More friction and wear, energy loss and contamination inside, which often led to breakdowns in the hydraulic system. And all we had was the separator struggling to keep it clean, you know? Not to mention the cylinder oil. It was expensive and rarely matched the fuel. So the lube system had to over-lubricate to keep cold corrosion at bay. Well, it didn't always work, you know. But I took you down here because, well, I would like you to see how it works today. You see, a couple of years ago, we changed to blending on board, or bob as we call it. You can see the new lubrication diagram here. You see, we are now able to use the in-use system oil as a base oil and blend with a high BN cylinder oil product just like they do at plants ashore. Now, it works like this. Bob, make sure the cylinder oil matches the fuel composition and the cylinder lubrication feed rate is now fixed at the optimal minimum feed. Instead of increasing feed rate, Bob adjusts the blend composition seamlessly. This way, we actually have saved around 40% of our cylinder oil consumption and created a natural consumption of system oil which allows us to add fresh oil to the engine sump regularly which improves system oil properties like detergency and anti-wear, you know? With system oil being continuously refreshed particles and deposits are no longer accumulated in the engine so separator and preheater runs much more efficient reducing sludge generated and energy consumed not to mention benefits of system oil viscosity being brought back to original levels, yeah? Now, that prevents a lot of system oil from being discarded as sludge. And optimised separator operation and improved system oil viscosity saves energy. Up to 1.5% fuel saved, in fact, when we look at it. And what is really good, it's automatic. And can be adjusted to whatever fuel we have in operation. That's something, eh? And we're a happy crowd doing this. Today, it's installed in more than 200 ships. And I bet the environment is happy about that too. Right, well, let's go up again.